team of me. I'm living on the air in Cincinnati. Show life is a heartbreak. I'm not participating anymore. I'm throwing in the towel. Goodbye, everyone. Come on, pick yourself up by your own bootstraps, by golly, and keep moving forward. Uh, Drew Brees, please. I think if you can find life somewhere in between what I just said, you'll be doing pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Because, I, you know, I can't buy into the by golly part, and I'm definitely not buying into that cynical, jaded part of throwing in the towel. Joe and I were chit-chatting during the break about some human beings you have to avoid. I was on a flight, Joe. It's a long time ago. I think it was one of the few international flights I've been on. And... I'm like in the middle of like the five, six row seat in the middle of like the 747. And just like 10 minutes in of like the six and a half, seven hour flight, some dude's like, you know, life's like a glass of water. He saw me listening like Led Zeppelin on like a CD player. Joe, it's called a quote CD player, a a actual portable CD player. And, uh, about 20 years before earbuds, uh, anyway, uh, He's just like, hey, hey, buddy, and taps you, like muting, like, you know, some Led Zeppelin tune. He's like, life's like a glass of water. I mean, no, hey, I'm Frank, you know, you know, none of that. Just life's like a glass of water, clear water. And, and he points to like the glass of a little plastic cup of water. And I'm thinking, well, this is airline water. It may not be all that clear. <laughs> and he's like, whatever you put in it, that's what that's what's going to come out. Thanks, Forrest Chump. I was like, uh, and what? Yeah, I mean, I, I was nice. I mean, I'm like seven hour flight with this guy. So I'm just, you know, kind of placating and appeasing him. And what would you be referencing? You know, and he brought up the that music. So, yeah. Thought he would hand you a book of his own poetry to read. At that's, least that's better. Uh, that's what happened, Joe. Well, I ended up reading the poetry, and I've never listened to Led Zeppelin since. That's a lesson for everyone to learn. It is a Monday afternoon. Yeah, you right. Corey Johnson with you. Two big hours coming your way on the program. We got some good stuff for you. Junket Cantrell, living up to the nickname. D.C. last week, now in Miami Beach for a climate conference. This is of vital importance to each and every New Orleanian. If you live in Orleans Parish, don't worry about crime or education, infrastructure improvements, economic opportunity, and the like. Mayor LaToya Cantrell. Did you ever see the Supergirl movie? It's like Superman in female form with the cape and everything. Well, we could say Wonder Woman, Invisible Plane. I wish it was an Invisible Plane. It's a real plane and it's first class airline tickets to boot on your dime. Golden Lasso. No, I, I feel pretty confident that in 50 years, 100 years, when folks look back and go, in climate change, we conquered that problem saving mankind they'll look back to march 20 hey joe i want to use the word ought 20 ought 24 (laughs) i don't even know what it means the ought part i just wanted to use it ought for scorn that Latoya Cantrell was a mover and shaker and 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 difference maker in in the whole planet eight billion plus people climate change dilemma, all during this Miami Beach climate conference. Wow. Anyway, now one thing I can say for sure: lots of jobs, economic opportunity, money back for uh, uh, ten thousand times than what the trip's costing. It's, every time Latoya Cantrell goes on a junket, jobs and major companies come to New Orleans. Have you seen the CBD? Microsoft, Cisco Systems. It's just it's a Fortune 500 who's who on all these buildings. Later, Corey wakes up from his dream. What did that young lady, those two young ladies say at the Baskin Robbins? I'm having a fever dream. 
I'm having a fever dream. That's for what's the latest generation, Joe? Like, I guess they're about 28 or under. The clueless generation, the fever dream generation. I'm luring them in with this kind of talk, Joe. I'm bringing them in by criticizing them. Yeah, Junkie Cantrell in, in D.C. last week now, kicking it in Miami Beach, enjoying great food, restaurants, first-class airlines, great hotel rooms on you. She gets it. I mean, two things. I, I've always said this, I mean, for years. Ray Nagin, C. Ray Nagin 2.0. It's how many meals can I get on the city dime? How many trips? This 15 minutes of fame, y'all. There, there was like a nonprofit gig. Some cushy, you know, nonprofit brings in 400000 395000 in salary for LaToya Cantrell, 5000 for nonprofit. She had that kind of thing going till she tried to take a million bucks from the Wisner Foundation and put it in her, her nonprofit. Thank you, OIG. That has been returned. Thank you, Office of Inspector General. Right there, million bucks. So, no, the mayor was, the mayor's not getting hired like Sidney Bartholomew by HRI. He knows other mayors, other cities, Press Kabakov. He's been working there like 25 years. You think Press Kabakov's carrying him? He contributes something. I mean, Mark Morial got hired by some law firm. They thought it would bring in business. It didn't bring in business. There was really nothing Mark wanted to do at the firm. A year later, they dissolved the partnership. It just, it, everything's about money. If you're making money, if the deal's a good deal for both sides, the deal continues. If it's not a good deal for both sides, it, it doesn't continue. Now, there's nowhere for the mayor to go, sadly, after this gig. And this is the, the high point. And then you throw in the, you know, free meals and the junkets, these things that most people would say are pretty petty in the big scope of things, no matter what your socioeconomic level is. It's all relative. I went to Houston in a car. I went on a jet to Italy. I mean, you know, it's all relative. We, we uh, summer in the Hamptons. We summer in West Wego. It's all relative. It's all relative. It's about things that aren't yours, that you're either taking or at the very least taking advantage of. So it's, you know, ethically, morally, integrity-wise, just unsound. And maybe even illegal, as we're kind of discovering with the indictments that seem inevitable for this mayor. No, so it's before it was, hey, y'all, 50 minutes of fame's up, you know, in a few years. and there's nothing really after this for me. Let me max this out. I mean, I'm going to look back and go, y'all, I've been there I've been, for 20, 30 years of conversations. I'll say I went there with folks. They've never traveled how I've traveled, done it first class, the limo, someone opening the door, just the full blown, you know, I'm someone special. I'm like a head of state mentality, but now it's even worse. It's not nothing there after the gig. As far as a job, it's, Probably jail time, maybe even before the gig is up. But uh, just grinding when it comes to the nickname, man. Just, uh, you know, kind of catch me if you can. I'm just going to keep going until the, uh, you know, this credit card doesn't go through. I'm trying tap, y'all. It's not working. The Louisiana regular legislative session started today. Is there any hope of something positive happening? The only hope I have, I mean, it's scary because I'm not like a Jeff Landry fan, but the ship in, in New Orleans and Louisiana has been going basically and generally speaking the wrong direction for about 40 years. So maybe some kind of change, even if it's sort of wacky right wing or just sort of, you know, we pulled this one square out of our rear end. I mean, I said like, let the dog loose and whatever bowl it goes and eats out of that. That's, you know, put a label on the bowl and that's the direction you go in. So we'll see. I'm not rooting against Jeff Landry. I'm just not optimistic, but we'll see. Next week, the house will vote on banning TikTok in America. That is a no brainer. 86 that, I mean, it, might knock one, two percent of the bad things happening to today's youth. 
off their plate, one or two percent. <laughs> Boy, raising a kid today is a challenge. You know, C- can you imagine like, thank goodness the zero to four part is the most important. It's like 90 percent, believe it or not. Like, man, barely can talk, barely can walk. The, the zero through four part is the most important part for the kid. So you do that part right. No matter what the world throws out after, you've probably done a pretty good job. So focus on that, parents. That's coming from Corey Johnson. He's divorced and has no kids. Great sound advice from no experience. It is a Monday afternoon, 4 o'clock hour. Yeah, you right. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here. Delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. The Woodhouse Day Spa, with five area locations, New Orleans, Metairie, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and now Mandeville. A day of relaxation is just moments away at the Woodhouse Day Spa, woodhousespas.com. Did you know Rouse's sells only Angus beef? Angus beef's natural marbling means more succulence and flavor. Whether you choose Rouse's USDA Prime, Choice, or Select, it'll be only Angus beef when you get it at Rouse's. Tastes like home. River City's Total Maintenance keeps you cool, New Orleans. NoahAC.com is your cool spot. Young's Dry Cleaning has free pickup and delivery. That's right. Young's Dry Cleaning has absolutely free pickup and delivery. Home or office, East Bank or West Bank. Call Young's at 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. Here at the NOLA Coalition, we love our kids and we love our city. The people of New Orleans are standing together for a better future. By harnessing our collective resources, the NOLA Coalition will create a safer, more prosperous city for all residents. Your support is needed to help reduce violence, invest in our children, and drive generational change. Join now at nolacoalition.info. <laughs> Trey Yen in Mandeville, a New Orleans tradition for over 40 years, serving the finest Louisiana-inspired Chinese cuisine. Open Tuesday through Sunday. Trey Yen. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes on Magazine, as unique as you. That's what I said. That's French for bread. The French bread of the city of New Orleans. Good to the last crumb. Leidenheimer French bread. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria has over 15 specialty sandwiches, a big 10-ounce burger, and some of the best pizza in New Orleans. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview between Canal Boulevard and West End. Here at the NOLA Coalition, we love our kids and we love our city. The people of New Orleans are standing together for a better future. By harnessing our collective resources, the NOLA Coalition will create a safer, more prosperous city for all residents. Your support is needed to help reduce violence, invest in our children, and drive generational change. 
Join now at nolacoalition.info. <laughs> I have Corey Johnson on the radio. Yes. Sometimes he makes sense. Sometimes. So listen to his show. I got mangoes. I got peaches and pumps. I got Yeah, you right. Corey Johnson back at you on a Monday. We were trying to figure one of those out for so long, Joe. I've got eating pears and apples because they're pears for cooking that you don't eat, that you have to slice up and put in a pan or skillet or bake them, you know, and it's a whole different, basically a whole different fruit. Corey Johnson with you back on a Monday, four o'clock hour, I should say, brought to you by Latrum, the global manufacturing giant that has grown worldwide for decades and decades and decades. If New Orleans had about eight, 10, 12 Latrums, we'd be on our way. Thank goodness we have Latrum, about 1,400 Metro New Orleans employees at their Elmwood facility, and now a few hundred on the North Shore at their I-12 facility, and they're hiring. It's all they do is grow, expand, and hire. They're looking for you, a new job, a new career. Go to the website, Latrum.com, Latrum spelled L-A-I-T-R-A-M, Latrum.com. Be a part of that winning team. That, that's a game changer. For some folks that have uh, taken that job at Latrum, that it's changed their lives, literally. Latrum.com, check out the website. Hey, I've got some $50 Woodhouse Day Spa gift certificates to give away. A little trivia action. Mother's Day coming up in May, which Louisiana, through New Orleans' own Dave Dixon, which Louisiana governor helped get the Superdome built with the major league prodding and poking and assists from Dave Dixon, his idea, which Louisiana governor helped get the Superdome built. Give me the answer to that. I've got 50 big bucks for you. Good at one of the five area Woodhouse Day Spa locations. I'm trusting you won't use the internet device, aka search engines uh, like Google, uh, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, Bing. I shouldn't say search, uh, the internet device, AKA search engines. They're not, they're two different things. Internet device is the internet device and search engines are search engines. So, so get, get rid of the AKA. Anyway, no cheating. Which former pro golfer designed English turn golf course on Dar Best Bank? Rouse's Markets phone line 766-9480. Phone lines are open. Joe, fielding your phone calls. Rouse's Markets phone lines, 766-9480. You got answers? I got 50 big bucks for you at the Woodhouse. Oldest continuously operated streetcar line in the world. Oldest continuously operated streetcar line in the world. Is this a hint or am I trying to steer you in the wrong direction? Yes, Joe, the cable car we consider a streetcar in San Francisco. Joe didn't even ask me. Making it up. Junket Cantrell, D.C. last week, Miami now. It's a climate conference. Louisiana regular legislative session starting today. Any confidence in those 39 senators, 105 House reps? Next week, the House will vote to ban TikTok. Yes, that's a good idea. Boy, the, the newly painted mural. At that Etienne Prevost, the, the Tate Etienne Prevost Center, vandalized. People are sick. Who are Tate Etienne and Prevost? In that car, that's a law firm, dude. They represented me, and I got, got $300,000, dude. 
Who are Tate, Etienne, and Prevost? Give me the answer to that, and I've got 50 big bucks for you. Good at one of the five area Woodhouse Day Spa locations. Two on the South Shore. Two on the North Shore. One in Baton Rouge by the Mall of Louisiana. Rouse's Markets phone lines, 766-9480. 766-9480. Let's go to the cellular device. Jay joins us. What up, Jay? What up, Corey? How you doing, buddy? Doing well, man. Yourself? Oh, man. Beautiful day today. I'd love to be playing a little golf, right? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, Mr. Rogers. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, hey, Corey, I wanted to answer one of your questions. Which question? The question regarding the Saints and uh, the governor, bringing the governor on in. Ah, you think you have an answer? I think I do. I kind of remember this uh, back in high school, right there on the avenue. All right. Uh, give, learning about it over in civics class. What's What you got, Jay? I'm thinking it was, uh, he had a son called Fox McKithen. The uh, Governor McKithen. Yeah, what's his first name? Oh, now you're really killing me. Hold on. Sort of like your name. A little. Starts with the same letter. Jay, that's uh, that's good enough for me. I'm going to leave it out there. Someone will get the first name. I'm going to leave that trivia out there. But, Jay, hang on via the cellular device. Excellent work. I like that answer. Name? Did I have the son's name correct? Ran yeah, 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 yeah. You're good. You're good. You're good. I know, that's enough. That's enough. I don't want to. I don't want to let the cat out the bag. You done good, Jay. We're going to tighten you up with a $50 Woodhouse Day Spa gift certificate, Jay, via the cellular device. Corey Johnson with you on a Monday afternoon. The NOPD needs a new headquarters. They really do. The city needs a new city hall. Can you say Central City for both facilities? Brand new, from the ground up, state of the art. 2035 is what you're thinking. 2040. I mean, City Halls would be about a third of its present day size. So much can be done online, away from the building. Very little would be needed at the building compared to today's present setup and the facility they, they, they uh, have downtown. So a modern state of the art. I mean, look at some big cities like Seattle or Denver. You know, look at their city hall, Phoenix. It's not some big, you think there'd be like three times the building size because it's three times the city. It's not the opposite. Sleek, modern, efficient. And if it's an older building, it's been renovated and one half's like a library and the other is just the city hall. Don't, don't need that big building. And you need to consolidate or completely get rid of many departments that the city of New Orleans has. We, we don't have this. I love this. To understaffed, don't have enough employees. No, no, no. Fat and overstaffed, not enough employees doing enough work. Jeez, and Pete's need to hire more people at City Hall. Yeah, that, that, that's the ticket. No, and, and the NOPD does need a new NOPD headquarters. There's no doubt. Routes' Markets phone lines, 504-766-9480. 504-766-9480. Margaret Orr, after 45 years, is retiring. Joe, I was about to say, you're 45 years old, right? And reply back on Twitter. And then I was like, this is going to backfire. It's like the time she but Turk with, I'd like to have a child. I was like, I could help. And everybody's like, what a freak, a pervert. You're 45. What are you talking about, Margaret? Or 45 years old. Yeah. Either that she's a, you're taking time away of the time she's performed as a great meteorologist. What, you know, I was like, I better just leave it alone. Margaret Orr, after 45 years, is retiring. By the way, the Crescent City Connection will be named in her honor. What, Joe? Why are you laughing? It's the naturally... Uh, Margaret Orr never reigns in New Orleans Bridge. 
I'm looking to keep this gig up that I have, take it up to a whole nother level. I figure another 10, 15, 20 years, I might be able to get that stretch of interstate and Metairie named after me, or maybe the big overpass over Carrollton. Call it the Corey, Corey Johnson Freeway. That's my dream. Frank Davis, he, he wasn't even dreaming about it. No, neither was his family. No, no one with the Davis family had anything to do with it. We weren't even thinking about, hey, name that bridge after my dad. But A.G. Crow, that goofy Slidell rep you folks over there elected, that's against an inspector general's office for St. Tammany Parish. Instead of that, saving taxpayers millions every year. The office in St. Tammany, all the public works projects you guys going on, it'd pay for itself in a year or two. Forever. Forever. But instead, A.G. Crow brought you the Naturally Nolens Bridge, which no one on planet Earth has ever referenced. Yeah, Joe went over to Slidell and the Naturally Nolens Bridge. Never been said by a human being on planet Earth. Dude, I took the Frank Davis Bridge. Never, never been said by a human being on Frank Davis's own families. Never said I've taken the Frank Day Twin Span. That's it. New Orleans East to Slidell. It's a twin span. Dude, you're wrong. I take the naturally Nolan's bridge all the time. That's what we call it. Nope. Nope. Never been called that ever. Twin span. End of story. <laughs> Some things just don't stick because they were dumb to begin with. Corey Johnson with you on a Monday. Do not move, please. Ladies and gentlemen, in this Lamarck Automotive Complex is something called quick lane. Tires, wheel alignments, you know, struts, servicing your transmission. We're doing all makes and models. It doesn't have to have been purchased from us. It's for you. It handles your lifestyle with your budget in mind. And we want to get you in and out as quick as possible. Quick lane, you got to come see it. You're going to love the experience. Right there at Williams Boulevard in Kenner. Outdoor dining, Middle Eastern cuisine, under the oak trees, Lebanon's Cafe, some of the city's finest lamb chops and shish kebab, Carrollton at Jeanette by the streetcar barn, Lebanon's Cafe. The Woodhouse Day Spa, with five area locations, New Orleans, Metairie, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and now Mandeville. A day of relaxation is just moments away at the Woodhouse Day Spa, woodhousespas.com. 1970 was an exciting time in New Orleans. The first Jazz Fest was held, the city hosted its first Super Bowl, and the first Helm Paint location opened on Earhart Boulevard. While the floppy disks, mood rings, and pet rocks may have come and gone since the 70s, Helm Paint has grown to become your premier source for quality Benjamin Moore products, competitive pricing, and personal service. Please visit one of our locations today, and we'll meet our competitors' prices on any identical product. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, let us steer you in the right direction. Helm Paint and Supply. In USA Today ranked the 10 best must-visit New Orleans restaurants for travelers. Mid-City's own Katie's made the list. USA Today says Scott Craig is chef-owner at Katie's, a much-loved Creole-Italian eatery that draws armies of regulars for lunch, brunch, and dinner. A neighborhood spot where locals congregate and New Orleans-style hospitality rules. Indeed it does. Katie's in Mid-City. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria has over 15 specialty sandwiches, a big 10-ounce burger, and some of the best pizza in New Orleans. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria, on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview, between Canal Boulevard and West End. 
Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes are magazine, as unique as you. Rouse's Market is hiring. With 65 stores, fuller part-time employment, and flexible scheduling, Rouse's has a job for you, or maybe even a career. Apply at any Rouse's store or online at rouse's.com. For Leidenheimer Baking Company, producing the perfect French bread is more than a vocation. It's a sacred mission. And for five generations, they've used the same time-honored process, baking their signature loaf with its crisp crust and delicate center, unique and still good to the last crumb. From the finest French Quarter restaurants to your local po'boy shop, for over 125 years, New Orleans' own Leidenheimer. Yeah, you right. Let's hit the phone lines on a Monday afternoon. Junket Cantrell, another junket, DC. Last week now Miami. Regular legislative session has started. Any hope? Next week the House in DC will vote to ban TikTok. Great move, I think. The newly painted mural at the Tate Etienne Prevost Center vandalized. What is wrong with people? Hey, I've got some $50 Woodhouse Day Spa gift certificates to give away, including who were or who are, not who were, who are Tate Etienne and Prevost. Joe thinks it's a law firm in Metairie. Located at the Galleria. Let's go to the phone lines. The heart of the city, the city's first neighborhood, as good as it gets in all the world, the French Quarter. Bobby joins us. In, oh, Bobby. Bobby in the French Quarter. What up, Bobby? Hey, Corey. Can you hear me? Can hear you loud and clear. What's going on in the quarters, dude? Oh, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. I, uh, I was laughing when you were talking about the naturally New Orleans... Frank Davis Bridge. I, I shake my head every time I see that when I go over the twin span. Yep. And, and it's, I'm not knocking Frank Davis at all. He was a beloved figure. It's just, you know, Nash Roberts high rise, the buddy Deliberto 610. It's just, you know, pointless, silly, goofy. And then the guy doesn't, you know, he voted down the IG for, for St. Tammy. So these AG Crow type characters, you know, politicians in Louisiana. That most are either, you know, ineffective and, and silly like this or crooked and, and, and setting themselves and their friends and family up. We don't we don't have enough that are civic minded and do the right stuff. Yeah, I agree. And, and you had a good one on the other day that was uh, trying to pass a bill to get rid of the, the speed cameras and the stuff like cameras. Yeah. Yeah. Alan, um, that thing passes. Yeah, no, I'm I'm hoping that passes too. Yeah, that was Alan Seaball. I don't even know his politics. I know he's from North Louisiana. He's a Republican. I don't even care. I just like that Senate Bill 21. I hope it passes too. Banning all traffic and speed cameras throughout the state, including New Orleans. Yeah, I remember him saying that he had a bunch of his constituents drive at him because that's how they came to New Orleans and got a ticket. Yep. That's what it takes. No, exactly. Hey, I do a... want to answer one of your trivia questions. All right, fire away, Bobby. Uh, the one who uh, designed English Turn? Yes. Uh, Jack Nicholas. How do you know that? Well, I played out. Uh-oh. We lose you, Bobby? I think it's a big house right there by the clubhouse that uh, he still owns. Who still owns? Jack Nicholas. Oh, no, Nicholas never owned a house at English Turn, but he designed the golf course. You are correct. His 50, he's designed his company now like over 400. Yeah, you're right. English Turn was number 50. Country Club of Louisiana in Baton Rouge, another Jack Nicholas course. That was his 38th. Hang on, all right, Bobby? Sounds good. Hey, there's also a good Jack Nicholas course not far from here called Grand Bear. It's, yep. Uh, outside of 
It's between Biloxi and Gulfport. Yeah, you're north of Gulfport. It's in the DeSoto National Forest. Yeah. You just go about 20 yeah. minutes north. Yeah, that's a good course. And you go 20 minutes north of Biloxi, they got a good Fazio course, uh, Fallen Oak. Anyway, I think you got to stay at the uh, okay. Beau Rivage. It's probably a, the whole deal is probably like 350 bucks to play golf. Gotcha. Anyway, hang on a second, Bobby. Don't go anywhere. That's Bobby in the French Quarter. Bobby, hang on. We're going to the West Bank. Reverend Wallace, where have you been my whole life? What up, Reverend Wallace? Well, my little brother, I've been all right. Just staying busy as usual. Yep. But I think uh, the trivia curse for, uh, who helped the Saints, I think, was Edward Edwards and John Meekin. And uh, them the guys that got together for that. You know, I don't need to... Uh, in the Superdome. It was actually Edwin Edwards really wasn't the Superdome guy at all. And uh, Meekum was the NFL owner of the Saints, but uh, the Texas yeah. oil man's it, son, he was only I 27. Think it was the, guy, the guy that's on the uh, WW2 World War Museum, I can't call his name, but he was one of the intricate people that helped with that too. But anyhow, I want to say this, Corey. I think. The city council ought to put the holes on a seven million dollars a year lease. First of all, I think uh, the municipal auditorium could be drawn up. It's an adequate park, and it could be anything for city hall. It could be a nice place to have it over there. What, 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 what you, you talking about? The NOPD moving into that building, or I don't care. Even the mayor's office, wherever they're trying to move, and I think. That should be put on hold for the next mayor to come in office. Well, well, I do know this. Enough going on now. I do know this, Reverend Wallace. The 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 NOPD headquarters is awful, and you can't work out of it. So they do need to go somewhere. I don't know if the you might be right. The office lease uh, for for the ten years. What are they paying up there on two folds or three folds for seven million? Are they paying top down square feet or whatever? That that should be vetted. Should be looked at to see if there's other. There's something on Padres, maybe somewhere else down the line they can get. Hey, Reverend you know, Wallace, how about this? How about this? The Benson Tower, Gail Benson and the Saints bought that because part of the Saints deal with the state, basically helping to subsidize the team to keep them here. They they pay a premium rent for the for state offices to go to Benson Tower and lease space. Maybe Gail Benson and the Saints could do the opposite. It could be their gift to the NOPD. Hey, we've got some space available in the building. We're going to give it to you guys or at least, and then they could write off that, off their taxes, or at a greatly reduced rate. Right. I mean, I think that should be looked at a little more in depth. The tax bill is going to foot the bill. Yep. $7 million for... Say ten years. I mean, we 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 spending a lot of money right there. We could damn not build a building for that. No, no, you're right. I mean, I don't know if you go to the IG and say and look at this and you know give us a review well, if will. this is good. But will. someone will. needs to. So you will. you can't re- trust the city, Reverend. You know that. Well, the taxpayers' dollar got to be protected. I yep. mean, I agree. You know, I agree. And, and one, I think one, I think the city council should put the holes to it and say, well, let's hold up till after the mayor's election. Hey man, what, 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 what they, Rev, Rev, they can't do that because, you know, it'd be like you hold in church service on the West Bank with a hole in the roof during a rainstorm. It, this I just, this I building doesn't work. They got, they got to go somewhere. Here's a sin for you, Rev, a major sin. You're familiar with the Naval Support Facility on Poland Avenue? Yeah. That was a working facility that the federal government owned. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it was first class state of the art. It wasn't. It was older, but it was climate controlled, air conditioning, heating. It was protected. The feds updated it every now and then. I mean, it needed a major overhaul, but it was a a million square feet, like as big as one shell square office space, plus St. Charles. The feds handed it over to the city and the the feds knew to protect it with military there. The the city, all they needed to do is put a police substation in there. And that would have protected the space. Instead, vandals, vagrants, crime, criminals, 
arsonists went in there, destroyed this building over about a five year period. They could have moved more P- NOPD in there, Whoa. city hall offices. That, but Reverend, that is sinful behavior the, by the, the city the of New Orleans. Saying, the old saying in the old political circles, it doesn't get to what you can't get uh, 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 past the smell of seven million dollars a year. That's kind of deep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. No, something needs to be done, but I'm in full agreement with you. That deal needs to be scrutinized. We can't just, oh, yeah. NOPD needs a new place. Here's the lease. Let's go with it. No, there needs to, options need to be looked at. The deal needs to be scrutinized. No doubt. Yeah. They, they could do better. They could just, they could have worked a better uh, uh, lease out than that. I, yeah, mean, I, I think they need to I go mean, bag, you- scratch, and claw and try to get a better lease like yeah, the, the the folks that are failing in the building that have six floors that they've already rented that sit empty, I mean, the FDX, building, whatever it is, let them, do, it, you know, it's give the them space. building where the Whitney Bank was at across from the Civil, Civil Court. They was in that building doing Katrina. That's where their headquarters was at. I think it's on whatever floor they was on, six or seven floor over there. That was a good place. That's where Raleigh and, and worked out of that building. You remember that? I think I do remember that right after Katrina. It's, it's right next to, to, to the Superdome. No, no, it needs, uh, the deal needs to be scrutinized and other places need to be looked at. You're right, Rev. Hey, Rev, I'm glad you found me. Don't be a stranger. I will. I will. We got to get on this election stuff, so I'll be calling you back. That sounds good. We can promote your Sunday service. That's Reverend Wallace from the Best Bank. Aldo joins us via the cellular device from the rock band, Aldo Nova. Life is just a fantasy. How you doing, Corey? Long time. Aldo, what's up? Joe's pulling up your theme song right now. Life is but a fantasy. Aldo Nova. Some of the greatest music of all time. I don't mean that at all. I think it was 1982, brother. I don't think about it at all. Anyway, I was trying to call and answer your trivia question. Wait, hang on, Aldo. Breaking news coming in right now. Wow. This is hot. What's that? Someone slamming a door? This is so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Let's fight. Life is just a fantasy, Aldo. Do you live the fantasy fantasy life? life. That's right, bro. What's on your mind today, Aldo? Hey, I was calling to answer a trivia question about the golf course, but I was beaten to the punch by previous caller. But And I didn't want to hang up and just... And I'll tell you hello, and uh, I'm sit, sitting here with a broken leg watching you on TV. Nice, man. I hope the leg heals up. We just faded into the commercial break via television, Aldo. But we'll be yeah, coming right. back in That's a second. Fine. But uh, I appreciate you hanging on. I appreciate you calling. And not because of the broken leg, because you're Aldo Nova. I'm going to tighten you up with a $50 Woodhouse Day Spa gift certificate. Oh, you're the best. I appreciate it. Aldo, oh, hang on, all right? Two. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I won one about three years ago and gave it away to, uh, uh, forget it, my mother and my sister, and they, they really enjoyed it. Good, so man. I was trying to get another one. You got it, man. Don't go anywhere, Aldo. Joe's going to get some info. Thank you so much for calling. Joe, right, why don't you play some Aldo Nova when we come back from the break? Right after this, more Life is Just a Fantasy from Aldo Nova. What a great tease. That'll get you coming back. Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. From the owners of Katie's in Mid-City and Bienvenue in Harahan, an old-school deli with over a dozen specialty sandwiches. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview between Canal Boulevard and West End. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria. That's what I said. That's French for bread. Leidenheimer. For over 120 years, New Orleans' very own Leidenheimer French bread. 
Here at the NOLA Coalition, we love our kids and we love our city. The people of New Orleans are standing together for a better future. By harnessing our collective resources, the NOLA Coalition will create a safer, more prosperous city for all residents. Your support is needed to help reduce violence, invest in our children, and drive generational change. Join now at nolacoalition.info. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes are magazine as unique as you. It's time to relax. The Woodhouse Day Spa, Metro New Orleans' premier day spa experience, now with five area locations. For a day of relaxation or maybe just a quick one-hour getaway, the Metro area's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa. And now five area locations, New Orleans, Metairie, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and this location in Mandeville. The Woodhouse Day Spa, woodhousebars.com. Rouse's Market is hiring. With 65 stores, fuller part-time employment, and flexible scheduling, Rouse's has a job for you, or maybe even a career. Apply at any Rouse's store or online at rouse's.com. Young's Dry Cleaning, with two walk-up locations with personal service. Young's on Claiborne and Young's on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview. Young's Dry Cleaning. Call 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. What actually lasts a lifetime? Not much, but at Helm Paint, we have something guaranteed to last a lifetime. Benjamin Moore's Regal Select. This paint and primer in one offers cutting-edge waterborne technology, smooth application, and long durability. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, your New Orleans paint store. My situ, that's Arabic for grandmother, used to make the best football kibbe. You can experience kibbe just like my grandmother used to make and so many other Middle Eastern favorites on the streetcar line. Lebanon's Cafe. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here, delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. Simply one of the greatest songs of all time. I think if Beethoven were alive today, this is what he'd be jamming to. So good. The lyrics are just life defining. It's just, you listen to lyrics, it just blows your mind. It's just so deep. And it tells a real story. And I think I'm a better person because of it. Joe, I don't know. This could go down as one of the worst three songs ever made, huh? The worst three songs ever made by human beings. <laughs> Why we say human beings? Because a woodpecker pecking on a pole is much more pleasant sounding for a human being than these three songs. Yep. They are still touring, by oh, that, the way. Yeah, because there's a thing called casinos in the United States of America. They're going to be in why. Columbia. And of course they are. Canada. Yeah, where are they going to be in Columbia? It's, not, it's either going to be the world's smallest club. Or I think a, some kind of riverboat. The Merriweather casino. Post Pavilion in Columbia, Maryland. And then the River Tree Resort and Casino, you nailed it in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a billboard of them up there, yeah. Joe. That's where you, I mean, literally, you're going to sit through 90 minutes of songs you've never, ever heard just to hear that. 
And imagine if they start with that. You get up and leave. It's over. <laughs> Three minutes. It's over. I heard Lights of Fantasy, that horrible song. One of the worst ever. No, they probably like wait. They probably, you know, you, they probably have like 10, 12 songs. Then they play that. And you're like, just when you were going to leave, they play it. And then you think, oh, they might have another hit. And you remember, no, they didn't. And you listen to like four or five more songs you never heard before. Anyway, they'll be at that Canadian casino. I've got tickets. You should be there. <laughs> wow. Joe, this is the greatest talk radio television program in America. It's award winning. Where else do you get Aldo Nova being played and discussed broken down? Last week we did Roadhouse, remember? The absence of police until the very last scene. Talk about suspend disbelief in a movie. My God. Star Star Wars is easier to suspend disbelief than Roadhouse. Just no police presence the entire movie till the last scene. Corey Johnson with you. I don't understand people. The Tate Etienne Prevost Center, they put up a beautiful mural that kids painted and some jerk like two nights in a row just spray paints over it. Just let me wreck someone else's pleasure or effort or, you know, I don't get it. I really don't understand that kind of human being. Anyway, I guess probably mentally sick or ill or something Sh or should be. Tate, Etienne, Prevost. Who are they? Who's Tate, Etienne, Prevost? Joe thinks it's a law firm uh, uh, that's at the gallery in Metairie. Tate, Etienne, Prevost. Who are they? Give me the answer. I've got a $50 Woodhouse Day Spa gift certificate for you. Rouse's Markets phone lines to participate in the program, 766-9480. Which Louisiana governor helped get the Superdome built? Edwin Edwards is incorrect. Oldest continuously operated streetcar line in the world. Give me the answer to any of these questions. I've got 50 big bucks for you. Good at one of the five area Woodhouse Day Spa locations. Hey, it's crawfish season. Yeah, you're right. Prices are coming down every day. Best quality, best price, best selection. Yeah, on the crawfish you love. Rouse's Markets. How about live from the sack, live in the sack? Crawfish, ready for you to bring home and boil. Your crawfish boil, you need crawfish live by the sack? Rouse's Markets has you covered. Corey, I just want to eat the crawfish. I want hot from the pot, fresh boiled crawfish. Rouse's Markets has you covered. Around these parts, nobody sells more hot from the pot, ready to eat boiled crawfish than Rouse's Markets. No one sells more live in the sack, live by the sack crawfish than Rouse's Markets. Best quality, best selection. Best price. Tastes like home. It's crawfish season at your neighborhood Rouse's Markets. Problem solved. Monday afternoon. We're fading towards the five o'clock power hour on a Monday. Junket Cantrell living up to that nickname. DC last week, Miami Beach right now, a climate conference. Louisiana legislature up in BR. Legislative session cranking up. Hey, next week, the House will vote to ban TikTok. Chinese-owned TikTok. I think more of a information gatherer than any kind of social media. NOPD needs a new home. So does City Hall. I say build two new ones from the ground up. Central City. Monday afternoon, Corey Johnson with you. Margaret Orr retiring after 45 years. Hey, why aren't you at Katie's right now? It's it's almost 5 o'clock. You getting off work? Head to Katie's in Mid-City. You won't be disappointed. What a great wind-down spot. So many characters in Katie's. 
What's that, Blue Boy? Don't forget, it's a quintessential New Orleans neighborhood restaurant. You're right, Blue Boy. What else? Lots of New Orleans specialties. Katie's in Mid City. On the neutral ground, with Corey Johnson. On TV on Cox Channel 4 and Spectrum Channel 333. Also on YouTube. On radio at Nola Talk 93.9 FM, WSLA New Orleans. It's 5 p.m. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504 556 0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504 556 0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Here at the NOLA Coalition, we love our kids and we love our city. The people of New Orleans are standing together for a better future by harnessing our collective resources. NOLA Coalition will create a safer and city for all residents. Your support is needed to help reduce violence, invest in our children, and drive generational change. Join now at nolacoalition.info. Young's Dry Cleaning has free pickup and delivery. That's right. Young's Dry Cleaning has absolutely free pickup and delivery. Home or office, East Bank or West Bank. Call Young's at 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. Fill up cities, total maintenance keeps you cool. Fill up cities, total maintenance keeps you cool. Rouse's New Orleans Grocery Store. Rouse's has the only full service grocery stores both in the French Quarter on Royal Street and in the CBD on Barone in the old Sewell Cadillac building. The Rouse's on the River, Chapatulas at Napoleon, is in a century old warehouse. And uptown on Ferret at the corner of Valence is Rouse's all new boutique store. With seven locations in Orleans Parish, Rouse's is New Orleans Grocery Store. Rouse's Markets taste like home. Hi, this is Joey Helm. My dad, Bunky Helm, had a vision. A vision of a locally family-owned store serving the residential and commercial paint needs of New Orleans. I think dad would be proud of today's Helm Paint and Decorating. And here's why. We have the best technical staff in the business, providing the best color matching service in Southeast Louisiana. Perfect matching for any color and any brand. And we'll save your colors so you don't have to save those old cans. Helm Paint offers free two-hour delivery. Our in-store decorators will assist you on deciding what color and type of paint to best showcase your home. But most importantly, as your local independent Benjamin Moore dealer, our products provide the greatest value in the paint industry, superior coverage, and Benjamin Moore paint simply covers better and lasts longer. New Orleans is a city of vibrant color, and no one else provides the paints of New Orleans like Helm Paint Decorating. Visit any of our six locations or online at HelmPaint.com. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here, delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes are magazine as unique as you. 
Ford F-150, number one seller in America. What about in the USA? Uh, let's see, what about in the world? Who sells more trucks than Ford? Nobody. It's because the Lamar team is the real team. All that makes it happen is one goal. Everybody having a great experience at Lamar Ford. We became number one for a reason, because we're good. And we need to prove it every day, every deal, all of the time. That's what I said. That's French for bread. Leidenheimer. Five generations, family owned and operated, Leidenheimer French bread. Yes, it is an exciting song. When I was a child, this was like eating pure sugar. I'd hear this and walk into the den. Just the mon- the video montage is pretty powerful stuff for the 70s. Hawaii, you know, sort of, you know, we not just really don't know what it is. You haven't driven to Hawaii. You know, it's not like, hey, I got those stickers on the back of the station wagon. One of them says Hawaii. It's a land for the rich and mysterious. Don Ho performing tonight. Hello, I'm Don Ho. I've got two shows tonight, one at 7.30, another at 9.30. Come, what would you say, Joe? Come and get a lay? Come get a lay. It's Don Ho. All kidding aside, tonight at Diamond Head, Don Ho the 4th. 715, 815 shows. Be there. Diamond Head. I got a buddy that lives in Diamond Head. I always tease him. Hey, it's Tony Orlando the fourth and dusk. It's like, huh? Like, you know, Tony Orlando and Dawn. This is his fourth child. And uh it's Dusk, the backup singers. They'll be at Diamond Head tonight. Two shows. Tomorrow night they're at the Laplace Holiday Inn, 7 30 and 9 30 shows. Be there. I love the Laplace Holiday Inn. It is fantastic food, music, and I find the accommodations top notch. No better bed bugs in the area. There's no better bed bugs, Joe, than the Laplace Holiday Inn. You know what? You know where I've gone for many a vacation, Joe? That hotel across from the Alario Center in Avondale. It's got a little pool on the side, fenced in. They've got a breakfast with some reheated pastries from the day before. It's pretty special. It's pretty special. You know, it's pretty special. Don't you like this daylight gimmick till, we we got two more hours of daylight. Let me put it to you this way. Two more hours. Drop the boat in the water. Go drop the fishing line in the water. Knock out some landscaping. Go walk the dog. Walk yourself. Go play a couple of sets of tennis, maybe. Go knock out nine holes of golf. A lot you can do in two hours, two hours of daylight. The days are just getting longer and longer. We got that, you know, spring forward gimmick Sunday night last night where it, you know, or Saturday night, Sunday morning, it went from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. We just missed that hour. Someone asked me, Joe, a policeman, where were you during that crime at 2.30? I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't. didn't have to lie to him. Because it went from 2 to 3 o'clock. No, anyway, about 7.15, it gets dark now. And 7.20, 7.40. For our Muslim community, happy Ramadan. But daylight savings, boy, the, the, they're going, wait, I want to eat at 6.15. Now I got to wait till 7.15. It's a plot. Well, if you were in Arizona, some other states, they just ignore all this. Joe, the real hardcore Muslims, seriously, like New Orleans East, you can eat at like, say, 712. Metairie, it's 713. Kenner, 714. You think I'm kidding, the real hardcore, because the sun's setting to the west. New Orleans East is a little bit farther east. Metairie's a little more east than Kenner. No, but some, it is a set time. Like they go on New Orleans. You can plug in your, you know, 
longitude, latitude, or a city, and this site will tell you when you can stop your fast for the day for Ramadan. And then there's some hard, more hardcore that really hold it literally, and they're like, man, Metairie is, you know, you're in East, Jimmy, you can eat. I got to wait 60 seconds. Hey, Freddie and Kenner, you got to wait two minutes. It, there's a Palestinian-owned uh, Middle Eastern joint, Lebanese joint, kebab house on Vets by Drew Brees' Jimmy John. Absolutely horrible sandwiches. Jimmy John's. Don't get one today. Right next door. I know Jimmy John's. How does that even exist? I'd rather eat hospital food. No, I, I like hospital food compared to Jimmy John's. Anyway, uh, next door is kebab house and it's Palestinian owned and it's like, go now. If you're a gringo, you're like a, you know, non-Muslim, uh, go now. Because at 720, it just gets packed with, with folks that have been fasting for 12, 13 hours straight. Some no water or food, nothing. And then it's, let's eat. Some of these Palestinians, I know they get up like four in the morning and have a big meal while it's dark. Because they're, they're not eating for 12 hours straight and they got to work all day. Got to have the energy to work all day. Anyway, happy Ramadan. It's a month straight. I think it's 30 days, if I'm not mistaken. Joe, how many days is Ramadan? You want to figure that out for us? But yeah, fasting from dawn till dusk every day. Every day. At least for those that that are Muslim and follow Ramadan. I mean, I'm, I'm Catholic, Christian, and I don't really follow those Lent rules. Steak, whatever I eat, whatever. I'm not eating only seafood. 30 days for Ramadan, yep. You can experience it a little bit. Go to Kebab House tonight, like 7.15, 7.20. Corey Johnson with you on a Monday. I always mess with him at at, at Lebanon's, it is Hussein is Iraqi. Really great guy. Good guy. I've known him 20 years. I'm like, you didn't invent this food. My people did. Lebanese Syrians. And I tell the Palestinians at Kebab has the same thing. We all joke. And then I tell the Jewish folks, you didn't invent any food. All this Israeli food is brand new. Uh-oh, Joe, I'm saying something critical of Jewish folks. Is that is that against the law? Is that against the rules? Not saying something that's like racist, sexist. Uh, There's a drone circling overhead as you speak. Wow. Wow. Interesting. No, Joe, the, the uh, Jewish folks have, have taken control of my food the most from Syria and Lebanon. Call it Israeli food. We all know what Israeli food is. Matzo balls and, you know, little pancake, potato pancakes and the like. Stuff that no one really wants to eat. I mean, no, I'm not trying to be a jerk. Hey, we're going to the British restaurant tonight. No, you're not. Doesn't exist. There's no Jewish restaurant. You know, it's how it is. There, is there modern day Israeli food? Yes, it's all taken from Syria and Lebanon, like the whole Middle East, all that food. And then, Joe, just to prove my point, New York City probably had the largest Jewish population in the world, maybe. I mean, it, it, right now it's like 50-50 between New York and like Israel, basically. Why every Christmas were the Jewish folks in New York going to the Chinese restaurant to eat? Wouldn't they be heading to the Jewish or Israeli restaurant? No, because they never existed. I mean, I, some Jewish guy owned a restaurant. It's probably serving Italian or Chinese. Who knows? Or maybe matzo ball soup and latkes and whatever, but you know. Not trying to be a jerk. Go to Katz's Deli, get a Reuben. Exactly. Or you go to Corey Johnson's Syrian Lebanese food. The good stuff. I think the number one food item in Israel is falafel, which is Egyptian. It's Arab food. I'm not knocking anybody Jewish, but all this new craze. I'm not a big, the Israeli food like in New Orleans, not a big fan of because I my situ, Arabic for grandmother, she made some of the best hummus. She made some of the best fried chicken. The hummus and fried chicken was never served together. There was never hummus with fried chicken on top, ever, ever. 
So it's kind of just like a fusion. I, I got like a simple rule. You better have lamb and you better have a fried football kibbe. You better have kibbe and lamb or it's not a Middle Eastern restaurant. Just like Lebanon's. You got that right, Joe. Just like Lebanon's Cafe, Carrollton and Jeanette by the streetcar barn. Outdoor dining on a day like this. Indoor dining, climate controlled. Of course, comfortable. Great wait staff. Excellent Middle Eastern Lebanese food. Lebanon's Cafe. Lamb chop, shish kebab, all your favorite Middle Eastern sides on Carrollton Avenue where it's one lane in between Clayburns and the River Bend. Under the oak trees on the streetcar line, Lebanon's Cafe for dinner tonight. So good. You won't be disappointed. Half dozen lamb chops with like a, a trio of sides. 20 something bucks. I don't know where you get a half dozen dozen lamb chops raw for 20 something bucks. Check it out. Lebanon's cafe light until seven 15 ish about two more hours of daylight. Loving that get a lot done a and we better enjoy this weather. I was almost complaining. It was kind of cold yesterday morning. I was like, Corey embrace it. It's going to be hot in six weeks. Custom window treatments can enhance the look and value of your home. At Helm Paint and Decorating, we're proud to offer custom plantation-style window shutters by Scandia. Perfect for any window, including large frames, French doors, sliding doors, and arches. American-made SL300 shutters are available in many colors to match your personal decor. We'll come out to measure, and you'll receive fast delivery. Plus, they're virtually maintenance-free. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, let us steer you in the right direction. Helm Paint and Supply. Young's Dry Cleaning, with two walk-up locations with personal service. Young's on Claiborne and Young's on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview. Young's Dry Cleaning. Call 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here. Delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. Rouse's Market is hiring. With 65 stores, fuller part-time employment, and flexible scheduling, Rouse's has a job for you, or maybe even a career. Apply at any Rouse's store or online at rouse's.com. That's what I said. That's French for bread. Leidenheimer. Served in New Orleans' finest restaurants. Leidenheimer French bread. There's a Middle Eastern restaurant that's less than five minutes from where Causeway and River Road meet, Lebanon's Cafe. Convenient to Old Metairie and Old Jefferson. Carrollton at Jeanette on the streetcar line, Lebanon's Cafe. The Woodhouse Day Spa, with five airy locations, New Orleans, Metairie, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and now Mandeville. A day of relaxation is just moments away at the Woodhouse Day Spa, woodhousespas.com. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes are magazine as unique as you. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809, Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809, Dave Miet, insagency.com. 
In New Orleans, we don't need to live. We live to eat. More is better. Scott Craig of Katie's. That is our slogan. More is better at Katie's. It means more of everything. Not just more food, more smiles, more friendship, more love. More, more, more. When you do something, you have to do it right. You know, it's all about more. And it's all more of the good things. Get more at Katie's Restaurant in Mid-City. We're jamming to the sounds of New Orleans. Corey Johnson back at you on a Monday. Daylight, almost two more hours till after seven. We sprung, sprang, springing forward on Sunday. It's good stuff. I like that. I like more daylight. It's depressing in October when it you go outside at 515 and it's dark. That's kind of depressing. I, every, you know, I'm fortunate I don't get really depressed, but that's a bummer of a day when it's, you know, I walk outside the studio and it's dark outside. It's been dark for 45 minutes. That just sucks. 515. That's terrible. Now it is, I guess, a little darker in the morning right now. Might be bringing the kiddos to the bus stop, but it's a little dark. Right now we got like, you know, 7 a.m. It starts getting light and starts getting dark a little after 7, like full 12-hour days. And those are going to grow by a little bit. They're going to grow by a little bit. Every day getting longer till around, what, June 20th? And then the days start shrinking until October-ish. And then it flip-flops back around. Anyway, daylight till 7.15. Get outside and enjoy it. You almost got two, and a, two hours to go. Two hours of daylight. Junket Cantrell, living up to the nickname. DC last week. Now she is in Miami Beach for a climate conference. The Louisiana regular legislative session started today. I, I, I don't know if there's hope. But there's kind of a peak of interest in the sense that I mean, we have Jeff Landry and his governor. He's hardcore right. And he wants to change a lot of things. And New Orleans and Louisiana are very broken. And I'm no fan of Jeff Landry. I think he's a fanatic. I think he's full of you know what. I think he's out like a lot of Louisiana politicians enriching himself and friends and family ego power trip type thing, chances are nothing's really going to get done under him. But he's into these dramatic changes. And for broken New Orleans and broken Louisiana, we need dramatic changes. So I wouldn't say I'm hopeful or optimistic. I'm probably a little cynical or skeptical of this governor. But the path we're going down is broken. It does not work. So maybe some of the change he makes will work. I think the crime initiatives so far are positive. They're being embraced. When, when Jason Williams embraces it, come on. That, that says something. He could be easily selling out. And I've got New Orleans and black folks that elected me. And I've got to play this game. He's like, man, we've got a pro crime problem. I'm going to listen to this governor until he, until he, screws me around or does something that he, he didn't say he was going to do or doesn't follow through on what he says he's going to do. So now you got DA Jason Williams on that sewage and water board, Goss and Corbin, they, they're welcoming the review, this audit, this, this, you know, board that's going to look into the sewage and water board and try to fix it. So no, just, we'll see Louisiana regular legislative session starting today. No, I mean, I'm used to 20, 30 years of nothing ever getting done. The opposite, voting just stupid, dopey, emotional legislation while Texas and the rest of the South kicks our ass up and down the street every day. We come outside for the rest of the South in Texas to kick our ass and we smile the whole time. It's like 30 years plus. Kind of gets old. So we need some dramatic change. Maybe something will come from this. Not optimistic, but we'll see. 
maybe any change I said earlier last week, last few weeks, put a dog bowl out with the message and another dog bowl out with another message and let your dog loose. And whichever bowl he goes to and eats that food, that's the direction you go in might be a better way of governing than what we've been doing in new Orleans and Louisiana. Next week, the house in DC will vote to ban TikTok or not. I say ban it. I think TikTok is more of a information gathering tool for China than any kind of entertainment. I mean, this is the, the country that screwed up drywall. I was talking to my brother today, Joe, about five-gallon glass, uh, wa- you know, the five-gallon water uh, tank or whatever. But instead of putting it on that thing, I just want to countertop district i'd like to just keep it in that bottle and have like a spigot and they make these things this rack every damn one of them's made in china and my brother's like dude i'll deal with the rack that the bottle sits on but the spigot he he doesn't want plastic he wants stainless steel i'm like me too so we both have the same goal of, um, hopefully he'll find the made in the usa stainless steel spigot that fits the glass five gallon bottle But I was still like, it sucks. I got to buy this metal frame made in China. And he's like, well, dude, how can they screw that up? I'm like, they screwed up drywall. I mean, that just says it all. That's all you have to think when you think China. They screwed up friggin' sheetrock. So like dog treats or shrimp or edibles for you or your animal. So far out, it's not even funny. And then just the trinkets from Walmart and, and Target that just fall apart, just Chinese crap. I mean, I hate getting suckered into buying that. I refuse to buy that now. And then, no, I look at labels and this stupid water rack that the thing sits on is made in China. I can't find one made in Taiwan or USA or something. My brother's like, dude, I could build one. I'm like, yeah, I want something that looks decent, not something you're building. Make it out of wood. Plus, I'm like, I'd get a furniture maker. No offense, bro. I can build it. I'm like, no, you can't. Look horrible. Anyway, so that's what I'm searching for, Joe. China. Everything made in China. We should be making a concerted effort to India. And, you know, they got the same population as China. India, Malaysia, you know, Taiwan, all these countries, Vietnam even. It's like half communist still. They do quality work. They don't taint drywall it's just it's like almost hard to do it's almost hard to the china's like we own the u.s their walmart target crazy they just want a bunch of our junk i mean it's like mardi gras i'm like they're 25 chinese men in macau gambling and eating at fine hong kong restaurants because we made them millionaires they're laughing at us oh new orleans mardi gras we just sell them crap plastic garbage if you go on your phone and you go on Instagram or Twitter, the ads that pop up there of the Chinese garbage make yep. the stuff you're talking about look like high quality bespoke stuff. It literally is poison. Yep. Speaking of poison, Joe, I almost did the American Western Chinese accent. That would have been a big racist no no on the program. So I'm glad I didn't go there. I think a lot of people would say, uh, me no likey that. So uh, I'm not going to go there with any of that stuff. Can't make fun of anything anymore, Joe. Blazing Saddles is out. I told you, I videoed a clip with my phone. It was on TV. I'm like, I don't post this on Twitter. And I'm like, no, you're not. I just started laughing at myself. I'm by myself laughing in my den at myself out loud. Post this on Twitter. Police pull up like 10 minutes later. Jeez, I'm Pete's. No one would get it or understand. Hey, which Louisiana governor helped get the Superdome built? Give me the answer to that. I got 50 big bucks for you at the Woodhouse Day Spa. 766-9480 is how you participate in the program. Rouse's Markets phone lines, 766-9480. Oldest continuously operated streetcar line in the world. And yes, Joe, the San Francisco cable car counts. As a streetcar, give me the answer to that. 50 big bucks at the Woodhouse can be yours, 766-9480. 
the newly painted mural at the Tate Etienne Prevost Center vandalized. What a jerk or jerks. Who are Tate, Etienne, and Prevost? That should almost be like required New Orleans learning. Like knowing, you know, who Ignatius Riley is or the sewage and waterboard pumps when working can handle an inch of rain the first hour, half inch after that. Tate, Etienne, Prevost. Give me the answer. 50 bucks at the Woodhouse. 766-9480 is the phone number. Hey, TV audience, adios. See you manana. We seamlessly continue till 6 p.m. on YouTube. Yeah, you right. Check us out, The Neutral Ground with Corey Johnson on YouTube. Live streaming, CoreyTalks.com. And we're on the radio till 6 p.m. Oh, so fine, 93.9 FM. Oh, so fine, 93.9 FM. Young's dry cleaning since 1940, a New Orleans institution. You want to experience the best? Tired of your dry cleaner? Youngsdrycleaning.com. Youngsdrycleaning.com. Junket Cantrell living up to the nickname. It was DC last week. Now she's at a climate conference in Miami Beach. Ouch. Louisiana regular legislative session started today. I guess because it's a new governor who's, you know, trying to make a lot of changes like him or not. It's something to keep an eye on, but I'm skeptical. It's Louisiana, it's politics. Usually the needs of the few outweigh the needs of the many, us. Next week, the House in D.C. will vote to ban TikTok. I don't look at TikTok. I don't have the app. I don't go on TikTok. It's crack cocaine videos, you know. Somebody's riding an ostrich. Someone's riding an ostrich on a surfboard. Someone's riding an ostrich on a surfboard with a drone. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. I just don't, you know, it's crack cocaine of just mindless dribble and nonsense via video form. It's mostly idiotic and worthless. It's a lot like social media in general, you know, social media, you know, like a kazoo. Anyone can play. I like the professional people that are on social media, they're talking about something like that they know that they do, like a source you can trust. I like media outlets on social media, all different kinds, because like they'll post breaking news before you get the in-depth story that they write or produce for TV or radio or whatever. But as far as like, I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just being truthful. I'm fortunate. I've got a lot of family and I've got lots of friends and, and a lot of acquaintances. And I'm a New Orleans native and I've been here basically my whole life. And I know a lot of people and they know me. So I, I'm rich, filthy, rich, wealthy in that regard, not monetarily. So no, I just, uh, I don't need to, find friends on social media. I, I guess if like I lo- move to Seattle, I might get on it or something. It's like, Hey, I'm in Seattle. Anybody know me from new Orleans or Louisiana? You in Seattle? Oh, wow. There's a saints club that watches the games at this bar, you know, something like that. But in new Orleans, just who I am. And I'm not like, who I am. Hey, but just how I grew up, four older brothers and sisters went to a lot of schools in town know a lot of people. I'm in the prime of my life. So my contemporaries are lawyers, doctors, welders, you know, construction people, whatever. And I get, get, make a phone call to a buddy. I went to high school, grammar school, college with known my whole life. Didn't go to school with whatever neighbor, friend of a neighbor. Hey, Joe, I need a plumber. You got a suggestion. Oh yeah. I got the best. Boom. That's my guy. Had him now for 10 years, whatever. So now I don't need the social media for like, I don't feel good. You know, And if you notice my social media, I don't want to say it's very professional. It's not just social media, but it's nothing like, hey, look at me outside of this restaurant. Hey, you poor bastards on Carrollton Avenue behind the bus. I'm in Spain on the beach. Just none of that ever. Maybe after the fact, like a day or two later, I might be like, look at this great lamb dish from Bayona. 
Not like I went to Bayona the other night and pat me on the back. Whoop de do. You went to dinner. You know, I'm just not into that. Or my new outfits. Look at my new suit. I'm just, I don't know. And the humble bragging is hysterical on social media. It's very telling. There's just a certain group. There's people that from like my level all the way up to like big known people like rock stars or musicians or actors or whatever television personalities on in news, whatever at a, at a, at a pretty known level with millions of followers on social media. Yet they're still posting stuff like it's an honor that Joe, my producer incorporated is considering me for the Joe award for, Outstanding editorials. It's humble bragging. Essentially, you're patting yourself on the back. You know, I, I don't need to say, hey, the Gulf Coast Emmys are considering my Channel 26 editorials for a, a Gulf Coast Emmy. What an honor. Essentially, I'm going, hey, y'all, look at me. The Gulf Coast Emmys are considering me. It, it should be the Gulf Coast Emmys going, we're considering Corey Johnson or someone else. Hey, did you see New Orleans' own Corey Johnson is being considered for a Gulf Coast Emmy because of his editorials? I'm not being considered for a Gulf Coast Emmy. Stopped doing editorials at Channel 26 about three, four years ago. So I'm just using it as an example. But there's a lot of folks that, and it's super high level, honored that the Oscars are considering me. It's like, dude, we saw the movie. We know you're one of the people. You have to post this on social media to make yourself feel better. It's absolutely crazy. It was kind of like that Michael Thomas mental breakdown last week. I'm going to go attack Jeff Duncan. I love the Jeff Duncan comments. Trade, move away. You sell out. It's like, like Jeff Duncan is some like crabby dude from Philly with the hat tilted to the side, little stubby cigar. And, screw the teams. I'm out to screw the teams. Attack. Like he's some cynical, jaded jerk. Jeff Duncan's a journalist that covers the team. He's not a fan of the team. He's not an enemy of the team. If anything, he's more pro saints or pro fans. I know this new Orleans market. They're like children. They can be so sensitive. If you're critical of the saints or LSU, it's like, I don't know about you. I'm, I'm a big saints and LSU fan as big as anybody. Pels, whatever. Those are my teams. Go roll wave. John Summerall, you're the man. I don't want the media like kissing butt. Because uh, when the good stuff happens, you want the real take on it. Just like, unfortunately, when the bad stuff happens, you want the real take. I don't need it to be, you know, fed to me like I'm a child. We don't need them to know this. Let's not tell it all of the info we need to protect. I mean, I'm an adult. I want the media to be media journalists, not out to attack the team and not a friend of the team. Corey Johnson with you on a Monday. Yeah, you right. Helm Paint and Decorating's been with you for 55 years. 55 years. When you got to paint in Metro New Orleans, most New Orleanians know. You go to Helm Paint and Decorating, you don't go to a big box store. You don't go to some national chain. You, you go with, to the local guys that know and care, have all your information. Oh, man, 10 years ago, that, that porch color you used was this. High-quality Benjamin Moore paints, free two-hour delivery. East Bank, West Bank, North Shore, when you got to paint in Metro New Orleans. And, hey, Baton Rouge, Tiger Town. That's right. The capital city now home to four Helm paint and decorating locations, same high quality Benjamin Moore paints, same free two hour delivery. When you got a paint in Metro New Orleans, when you got a paint in Metro Baton Rouge, do it once, do it right. They'll steer you in the right direction. Helm paint and decorating. Total 
Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes are magazine, as unique as you. Custom window treatments can enhance the look and value of your home. At Helm Paint and Decorating, we're proud to offer custom plantation-style window shutters by Scandia. Perfect for any window, including large frames, French doors, sliding doors, and arches. American-made SL300 shutters are available in many colors to match your personal decor. We'll come out to measure, and you'll receive fast delivery. Plus, they're virtually maintenance-free. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, let us steer you in the right direction. Helm Paint and Supply. Young's Dry Cleaning has free pickup and delivery. That's right. Young's Dry Cleaning has absolutely free pickup and delivery. Home or office, East Bank or West Bank. Call Young's at 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center. It's open now. We fix cars and trucks. We do all makes and models. And it doesn't have to be a Ford or a Lincoln. It could be whatever you're driving. 32,000 square feet under roof. Now open at 3101 Williams Boulevard. It's all about you, the customer, getting the most for your dollar. I would say the most perfect collision center anywhere. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center. 3101 Williams Boulevard. Go check it out. For Leidenheimer Baking Company, producing the perfect French bread is more than a vocation. It's a sacred mission. And for five generations, they've used the same time-honored process, baking their signature loaf with its crisp crust and delicate center, unique and still good to the last crumb. From the finest French Quarter restaurants to your local po'boy shop for over 125 years, New Orleans' own Leidenheimer. From the owners of Katie's in Mid-City and Bienvenue in Harahan, an old school deli with over a dozen specialty sandwiches. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview between Canal Boulevard and West End. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria. Rouse's, New Orleans Grocery Store. Rouse's has the only full-service grocery stores both in the French Quarter on Royal Street and in the CBD on Barone in the old Sewell Cadillac building. The Rouse's on the River, Chapatulas at Napoleon, is in a century-old warehouse. And uptown on Ferret at the corner of Valence is Rouse's all-new boutique store. With seven locations in Orleans Parish, Rouse's is New Orleans Grocery Store. Rouse's Markets, taste like home. It's time to relax. The Woodhouse Day Spa, Metro New Orleans' premier day spa experience, now with five area locations. For a day of relaxation or maybe just a quick one-hour getaway, the Metro area's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa. And now five area locations. New Orleans, Metairie, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and our newest location in Mandeville. The Woodhouse Day Spa, woodhousespas.com. Here at the NOLA Coalition, we love our kids and we love our city. The people of New Orleans are standing together for a better future. By harnessing our collective resources, the NOLA Coalition will create a safer, more prosperous city for all residents. Your support is needed to help reduce violence, invest in our children, and drive generational change. Join now at nolacoalition.info. <laughs> For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Yeah, you're right. It's the doctor. Corey Johnson back at you on a Monday afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. A lot going on, including another hour and a half of daylight. That's right. It's, it's sunny and bright outside right now. Go and enjoy it. 
Say it again, doctor. Sunshine is her name. It's a beautiful day. Get outside. Yeah, we we sprung, sprang, springing forward back on late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. We skipped the 2 o'clock hour. Went from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. So daylight till 7.15. That's great. That is awesome. Another hour and a half. Go knock out some tennis. Go to the hunting blind. Drop a line in the in the water. Do some fishing, landscaping. Cut the grass. Go for a jog. Walk the dog. Drop some coals. Do some grilling. Do some chilling. Get outside and enjoy the weather. It's nice. It's very nice. Hey, the five o'clock powwow this afternoon brought to you by Leidenheimer Baking Company, the makers of that bread you love, Leidenheimer French bread. If it's an authentic New Orleans style po' boy, it's on Leidenheimer French bread. If you're at one of the city's finest restaurants, that piping hot bread in the little bag or wrapped in the, the tablecloth, the linen, it's Leidenheimer French bread. Good to the last crumb since 1896. And they're still baking that French bread right here in the city of New Orleans. Leidenheimer French bread, Leidenheimer Baking Company, five o'clock powwow of this afternoon brought to you by Leidenheimer Baking Company. Brett Martell joins us on the program. Another Martell Monday. What up, Brett? Hey, when you said, uh, when you were talking about the weather, did you say go look for a job or go for a jog? Go for a jog. But I think some folks need to go look for a job. Either one, Brett. I just thought you were saying it was a great day to literally pound the pavement looking for work. It is, but, yeah, no, go for a jog. Go look for a job. I like that. (laughs) Yeah. Well, how are you doing? Doing well, Brett. Same old thing, man. Nice weather. Good day. I like the extended daylight till 715. Uh, How's Kim Mulkey and LSU Lady Tigers doing, man? Big fisticuffs. Uh, how's it going to affect the Tigers in the NCAA tournament? Any news on that? F- fill everybody in on what happened in the championship game and Brett and the results. Yeah, I suspect there won't be any suspensions for the uh, for the Tigers um, in the NCAA tournament. Uh, it doesn't look like it looks like what you know. Obviously, Flaugier and Johnson got jacked, but it doesn't really look. It didn't really look to me like there was a lot of. Punches thrown on the part of LSU play. You know, basically, Flo J. Johnson, the, the big South Carolina center, Camilla Cardoso, uh, kind of pushed her down. But Flo J. Yeah, Johnson kind of nudged a South Carolina player before. They both got ejected, five others. I'm just wondering how that affects, you know, you get ejected. How does that affect the team for the next game? Will South Carolina and LSU be at less than full strength for the first round of the NCAA tournament. South Carolina is going to be the number one seed overall. LSU will be somewhere between five and eight as a, as a two seed. I, I don't think any LSU players will be suspended. I, I do suspect that um, I mean, it could be a while before last year, but can come back to let them step at guard. You know? And, uh, I mean, a serious concussion, you never know. It can take I mean, it can take weeks where you have to. I mean, I just know from covering the NFL for years, it can take weeks where people are in a dark room, a dark, quiet room, you know, because they can't handle that. Those, you know, it's just they're too sensitive for that after a major concussion. And where they're having been kind of out of it and having to be stretched off. And, I mean, I guess you just have to, she has to go through constant testing to see how quickly she'll heal. Hopefully, she'll be back, though. I mean, they have about a week and a half before they have to play again. Yep. Yep. Brett Martell's with us from the Associated Press. Hey, Brett, before we get into it, how can folks read your stuff via the AP? Yeah, the best way is the AP News app on a smartphone. It's free for smartphones, and it gives you news from all over the world. Um, You know, not just sports, but uh, whatever's going on. I mean, AP is one of the largest news agencies really in the world and in the history of the world dating back to 1846 and, um, you know, the relatively credible, uh, organization. Hey, uh, Jeff Duncan went to Lake Charles for the McNeese Nichols game where a win would give McNeese the Southland title regular season. He wrote a story on it. 
few days earlier, I had uh, Will Wade on the program for a good 20 minutes or so talking basketball. Uh, you let me know that Will Wade was having a shoot around last week when UNO hosted Nick Nice. And I actually went out to the arena. I think you were the only media member at that shoot around. I just went there to shake Will Wade's hand and thank him for coming on the program and that kind of stuff, introduce myself. Um, you've got a piece right now via the AP on Will Wade and the su- success McNeese State has had, don't you, Brett? Yeah, it's live on the wire right now. Um, so, uh, yeah, readers will be able to see it on the app or online, apnews.com. Um, or just go on Google and do a search for Will Wade, Brett Martell, McNeese State, and it should pop up. What's the gist but, um, of your piece? Yeah, the gist of the piece is that, you know, uh, McNeese State's uh, athletic director understood the risks when he hired Will Wade. He really believed in him. He believed in second chances. Um, and Will Wade is proving himself to be a winner, again, who's probably going to be a pretty hot commodity on the coaching market. Um, he's executed a very remarkable turnaround uh, from 11 wins last year to 28 this season. I mean, McNeese has the same number of wins, granted a different schedule, but the same number of wins as the top three ranked teams in the country. Yep. You know, Houston, UConn, and Purdue. They had 23 losses last year, and in the opening press conference when he got the gig, he said we had 23 losses last year. I promise you, this year we're going to have at least 23. We're going to have 23 more wins. You watch. And he's proven that in, in year one. Now, now, Brett, with this show caused by the NCAA for another year, if he were to go to another program this year, uh, he may have to sit out some games. That program could be financially penalized or something. Uh, I, I kind of think, unless it is just the perfect situation, that Will Wade will probably return to Lake Charles for a second year. And and you kind of filled me in on something interesting that I've been pushing. This is from Brett uh, when I was talking about this last week. I think I did acknowledge you telling me this, Brett, that Will Wade has loyalty to McNeese, that Will Wade, you know, has acknowledged they gave me a chance when no one would. And he knows the success he's having. He knows a power five team this year, next year will come calling. And he knows that a 1.2 or $1.3 million buyout for a big program is, is nothing. They're going to be paying Will Wade millions of dollars annually, three, 4 million a year, probably when he gets a new contract. So basically the buyout is for McNeese to receive 1.2, $1.3 million. Isn't that right, Brett? Yeah, I think in this case it's a thank you. He, he you know, he could play hardball because he has all the leverage. I mean, the 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 the, um, the community and the university loves them because they're it's the best season they've had in over twenty years. And uh, it could, I mean, if they make the tournament and win a tournament game, it would be the best season they've ever had. So um, he could have played hardball and said, "No, I want to maximize my my opportunities yep. going forward. I don't want any buyout." And I want to raise. No, no. And, and he signed a five-year, $700,000 a year deal. So it's like three and a half million bucks over five years. And the buyout's $1.3 million. You're right, Brett. He could have said, I want $700,000 a year for five years. And zero buyout. Z- hey, you guys are paying for me to move to my new destination. And they would have said, yes, sir. He's 28 and three. You know, and he was right. rolling when he, they, 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 you know, that when he signed the extension. So. I think that's great of Will Wade with the loyalty. Yeah, and they're treating him well. You know, he's really happy there. That's the thing is that, you know, he loves what they've got going on there. It's the best supported program in that conference. It's got the best stadium. It's got some of the best facilities. Um, And in that conference, they're now like the 1,000-pound gorilla in the South Bay Conference. I mean, as long as he's there, they're probably going to win it every year. And he's enjoying it. He's enjoying the environment and the community. And so... His attitude is, you know, I appreciate what you've done for me. I want to make sure that you guys are taken care of when I leave. And he's, I don't, he says, he said in the story, he's not in a hurry to leave. He said he definitely wants to go to the big time and get another crack at it, but he's not in a hurry to leave. And guess what? He's 41 years old. Yep. So he doesn't have to be in a hurry. I agree. 
No, I think it's going to be a perfect fit type gig. It's going to be a power five, obviously. And I think another year in Lake Charles. I hope so. We'll see. Some team that, yeah. you know, might that, that sees what he is might go after him. A Vanderbilt, a Missouri. They're, they're teams in the SEC that might be changing coaches. But we'll wade smart, Brett. I mean, look at the transfer portal. He brought in like eight or ten players. He identifies the players, the possibility could lure into Lake Charles, how they would all fit in together, and he goes and gets that and produces. So I think the same mentality will be taken on that, you know, the next job, the perfect situation. Will Wade, you know, has that ability. He's going to think forward about it. It's not just going to pounce on any job that's out there. It's going to, it's going to be a really good fit, a, a lot of money where he can win a national title. And uh, I think that bodes well for maybe another year in Lake Charles. Probably. He did tell me when we were talking that um, he doesn't believe he would have to set out any more games next year. He would only have uh, restrictions on travel, phone calls, and official visits for recruiting. And and maybe the school could receive a a financial penalty, possibly. um, Yeah, I'm not really sure about that. Brett Martell's with us. So, so what else about the article? I mean, that's all. Just you know, states that they're, they're they're playing tomorrow, and if they win two more games and get to thirty, then they're in the NCAA tournament, um, for sure. Yep. They they, they, they first two, one. two rounds. The first two rounds are by. They're hosting the Southland Conference tournament. Right. They go two and zero. Oh, they're in the big dance, right? Yeah, and what my article didn't say, and it was basically just a space issue. I mean, I had so much good information from the reporting that I couldn't fit it all in. But, yeah, it did say that they're hosting the tournament, um, that they're already in the semifinals by virtue of their number one season double bye, so they don't yep. have to win two games to win the tournament. What it didn't say is that the average margin of victory at home is somewhere in the range. It's in double digits. Yeah, yeah, it's like 22 a game. Everybody. Yep, they're 14 yeah. or 15 and 0 at home. No, they're pretty dominating. I, I just watched a little bit of that practice with you, Brett, at UNO. Kind of, that he could go coach in the NBA. I mean, he just knows what he's doing. He understands the game. He, he, he understands coaching. He, he knows there's not a weakness. He can recruit. He knows talent. He can make during game changes. He knows how to scout the opposing team. You know, I, I, I don't see a weakness in Will Wade. He's 41, like you mentioned. This guy's a superstar. Well, the other thing that came across, I, I would have to say, really came across in the story, is that he doesn't express, look, there's no way, you can't read his mind, okay? But he doesn't express any bitterness about the difficult process he went through, which he said was, you know, was very stressful, and it didn't go the way he wanted, and he wishes things could be differently. But he says, he said, that's all been adjudicated, and I just want to move forward. And then he even said, talk about saying the right things. Again, I can't read his mind, but it sounds genuine. He even said he's probably better off than it happened. Oh, no, no. He, he said it humbled him. him. Yeah, that's what he told yeah, me. He said too. it forced him to reevaluate. He got knocked off the ladder. Yep. He had to reevaluate his priorities. Um, think about what really matters in terms of relationships, happiness, um, work-life balance, relaxing. You know, everything that, every, uh, everything like that. So he says he, he's more relaxed now. He's happier now. He doesn't obsess over things that aren't worth obsessing over. Um, he enjoys the victories, even if the, the, he saw something go wrong in the game. He said before at LSU, and I covered him at LSU, and he was kind of a hothead. Um, be very compelling, though, and excellent. The crowd obviously loved him. Um, but he said that at LSU, even when they won, if if something hadn't been executed properly during a game, he'd obsess over it and want to get it fixed right away. And he'd walk off the court after a win, feeling virtually no no joy and just be exclusively focused on what went wrong and how am I going to fix it for the next game. And he said he doesn't do that anymore. He, he takes a step back, enjoys every victory, makes sure his players enjoy it. And then, um, you know, and then he, uh, and then he goes and fixes it when the next day's practice starts. But, um, it just seems like his uh, perspective is healthier now. Hey, Brett, always a pleasure. Let's talk some Pels next week. They're on a roll. Yep, and uh, some home games this week. People should check them out. Yep, you should have it to the Smoothie King Center. They're the fifth seed right now. Could slip into the fourth seed by the end of the week in the West. Brett, always a pleasure. Thank you.
That's Blue Boy saying thank you, Brett. That's Blue Boy saying thank you, Joe. Thank you for watching and listening. We'll be back tomorrow, straight up 4 p.m., a Tuesday edition of the program. Yeah, you right. What's that, buddy? Nice weather. Light until 7.15 now. I'm expecting, you're expecting what? A big, long walk. All right, blue boy, I hear you, buddy. Manana. You're on the neutral ground with Corey Johnson on TV on Cox Channel 4 and Spectrum Channel 333. Also on YouTube, on radio at Nolatop 93.9 FM, WSLA New Orleans. It's 6 p.m.